Hello, I'm Dan Robinson, Operational Manager here at Fayetteville Public Television. Welcome to the FPTV Service Providers Report, third quarter, 2021. Fayetteville Public Television is a resource here in Fayetteville that offers classes in video production, resources to produce video, and a channel on Cox 218, ATTU vs. 99, Ozarks Go 44, and on YouTube Live to share your videos with a television and internet audience. We had an active third quarter here at FPTV. July continued our usual lighter summer participation, followed by a very busy August and September. We have practically doubled our educational numbers from last year. We continue to see consistent gear traffic, active open mic participation, and robust program submission from the community. Let's start with a look at our educational activity. In the third quarter of 2021, we had 22 class participants, result in 49 class participations. This quarter, we saw an influx of new community members who had heard about the resources offered and wanted to take advantage of the opportunity. They represented the essence of what we provide, the opportunity for residents in all walks of life to access video production education and resources without the obstacle of cost. Our editing classes have been high in demand. This year's participation numbers have been greatly impacted by our new Intro to Content Creation class. This class gives our students a valuable overview of the production process before they start their project. We continue to offer classes both in person and virtually with people still eager for both options. In August, we welcomed YK Karenbauer as our returning Director of Education. YK served the operation in that role in 2014 and then moved with his family to Little Rock to work at UALR. From a large pool of candidates, YK's knowledge, experience, and passion for serving our community stood out yet again, and we are happy to welcome him back to the operation. Let's take a look at producer certifications. Here at FPTV, a certified producer is someone who has taken our classes, checked out our equipment, used that equipment to produce a piece, and submitted that content for the channel. We are seeing that number increase this year over the pandemic year. A candidate producer is someone who has taken a class and is eligible for equipment checkout. We have found that given the circumstances of the last year, that people are taking classes but utilizing their own equipment more. An outside producer is someone who produces content on their own with their own equipment and submits it for telecast. We saw a significant increase in that last year and continue to see growth in that area this year as well. Let's take a look at production activity. The third quarter was active with productions, including Later with Jason Sewell, Open Mic, and External Community Productions. We successfully rolled out eight episodes of the FPTV original series, Real Women, created and directed by our Assistant Director of Education, Amber Carnish. This is an in-depth interview series with women working in the film industry here in Arkansas. It received a warm response and active viewership on our YouTube channel. Another active production was our Open Mic program, Thanks to proactive outreach, we have seen strong representation from our musical and theater communities coming out to share their talents and information with our audience. As a result, we are seeing the highest participation numbers in this program in the history of the operation. Let's take a look at equipment use. In the third quarter, we saw continued growth after the reopening of the television center to the public. Closing the television center due to the pandemic had a significant impact on our numbers, but we continue to see regrowth, especially with edit bay and studio use. Our editing laptop checkouts continue to be high in demand. We are also seeing increased traffic on our advanced equipment. Our cinematic rig has been more in demand, and we were happy to add four new basic field cameras to our inventory. These new cameras provide current features for our producers that will greatly improve the quality of what they produce. Let's take a look at programming. We continue to see growing program submission from the community for the channel. FPTV continues to premiere between 20 and 30 new programs per month. 
We are thrilled to have newly established partnerships with the Fayetteville Public Library and the David and Barbara Pryor Center for Arkansas Oral and Visual History. Both of these organizations produce content that we are proud to share with our viewing audience. Since the pandemic, we have seen a significant increase in independent submissions of videos produced by the community. If there's a video that you would like to share, feel free to visit our website where you can find our online program submission form. Let's take a look at online viewership. We had our highest online viewership this year in September, mostly related to our open mic program and our original series, Real Women. We have found that the live stream serves well for premiering shows in an appointment television model, and then having the content available for VOD greatly adds to the viewership. Let's take a look at promotional and outreach activity. We had another active and successful quarter with promotional activity. Our social media campaigns on Facebook and Instagram keep people up to date on the things happening here at the Television Center. FPTV was a proud media sponsor of the 2021 Roots Festival, providing highlight coverage of their culinary offerings. I've also had the pleasure of being on multiple podcasts in the third quarter, including I Am Northwest Arkansas with Randy Wilburn and the Arkansas Cinema Society podcast with Cody Ford, sharing information about the resources available here at FPTV. In conclusion, the third quarter of 2021 was a step closer to the vibrant activity we saw before the pandemic. We are excited to welcome the community back to the Television Center and support their production endeavors. We are proud to continue to offer access to video education and resources without the obstacles of cost or censorship. Your media, as the contract service provider, is always seeking new ways to serve the community, the city, and the region with this valuable resource. We encourage you to visit our website at faypublic.tv. You can like us on Facebook, follow us on Instagram, and you can subscribe to our YouTube channel to stay up to date on the latest content being produced. You can give us a call at 479-444-3433 with any questions. Thank you for your attention and for your support of this valuable community resource. We look forward to helping you make your video ideas a reality.